What's happening, guys? Your local Realize man in the Realize car. And let's talk about building confidence, right? And I feel like I'm someone who's actually probably a good person to give you advice on this subject because I was someone who had absolutely no confidence. When I was younger, it used to scare the shit out of me to go to McDonald's and order a Big Mac. I used to get my little sister, who was even younger than me, that was like six or something, to go and order for me because I was terrified because I didn't have confidence. When I was younger, I never talked to girls because I didn't have confidence. I didn't try to talk to other guys because I didn't have confidence. And what I realized is that confidence is not something that you do. It's not something that you go out and you build your confidence, right? It's more something we all inherently have. It's just that our confidence is being repressed because of limiting beliefs. What do I mean by this? If you look at a four-year-old or a three-year-old or a five-year-old, naturally, nine times out of 10, kids are confident. Kids will come up to you and say, hey, what's your name? Hey, how's it going? And try to talk to you, have a conversation with you. They don't worry the least bit about looking awkward. They don't worry about any of these things. They're natural. It's because they're kids. The reason kids are confident is because they haven't learned to remove their natural state of confidence. And we learn to remove the state through our limiting beliefs. And the limiting belief that most people have that kills their confidence is this one thing. If you want to get anything out of this video, make sure you remember this one thing. People lack in confidence because they believe that other people are judging them for their actions. That other people are thinking about what they're going to do. Think about that. The reason you don't act naturally when you're talking to new people is because you're in your head. It's because you're too conscious about what other people are thinking of you. That's the only reason. If you didn't have this limiting belief, you would be more natural. You say what you want to say. You do what you want to do. You have the body language you want to have. You wouldn't have to calculate every single move you make, making you look awkward. Now, think about the most embarrassing thing that your best friend's done or someone's done in the past. Chances are it would take you a bit of time to actually think of something that was embarrassing. The reason it takes you a bit of time to think of something that was embarrassing that someone else did is because human beings, we don't fixate on what other people do in terms of embarrassing things they do. I'm sure you've seen someone do some really embarrassing things in the past. I'm sure you've seen people get rejected. People do all kinds of things, but you don't think about it. You don't fixate on it because it's not you. You're more worried about what you're doing. Now, let's go back to the confidence. Other people are doing the same. Other people are not worrying about how you're stuttering. Other people are not worried about maybe some awkward thing you did. They're fixated on themselves. They're not worrying about what you're doing so you can get out of your head and get rid of that opinion and be naturally confident as you naturally are. Once you get this idea in your head, you can then get rid of the limiting belief and then start approaching people and talking to people. And what you realize is that the world is a safe place, that the world is a safe place and you're at ease. You can walk through the world, you can talk to people at the Pizza Hut, you can order your McDonald's, you can get rid of the social anxiety that you have that was all made up in your head. Other people are not fixating on you. Not everyone's looking at you. I remember the first time I went to the gym, I swear, when I walked in, I thought that everyone was looking at me. I thought that everyone was looking at me, judging me. In reality, this is ridiculous. People don't have time to pay attention just to you. They're busy doing their own thing. They have their own doubts, their own thoughts. So allow yourself to be confident. That's the thing. Don't. It's not something you do. Allow yourself at first to be confident. Allow yourself to make mistakes and you will be better off. Another reason that we are not often confident is because we don't allow ourselves to make mistakes. We think that everything we have to do has to flow seamlessly. Everything we have to do has to be fluid. That's why a lot of guys can't talk to girls. They can't approach girls because they're scared. Because they're scared that they're going to say the wrong words. They're scared that they're going to look weird. If you allow yourself to make mistakes, you go into the interaction at ease. You don't take blows to your ego. You take every little thing in which you learnt and you're better off with it. It's kind of like um, someone who's starting a business. You can have two mindsets. You can have the person who has their first failure, gets depressed, quits, and becomes bitter because of it. Or you have the second person who gets the failure and takes it as feedback data. Do the same thing with your social interactions if you're trying to get better, if you're trying to be more confident. Start with small things. Go out there and just talk to people. Allow yourself to make mistakes. Perhaps you talk too much, you talk too quick. Perhaps you cut the other person off. Take all the feedback data and use it as reference for the next interaction. 
And before you know it, you'll be able to talk to anyone at ease. Right now, I'm so fucking confident. I don't worry about those things. I can go out there and do all that shit because I've gone through these processes. Anyway, guys, I hope that video helps you. More of these coming soon. And yeah, tell me if you like it and I'll make some more. Peace.